I just know this is going to get me wrong. Right, 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 right. On March 6, Florida State Legislature passed a bill that would not only ban, but also criminalize the production and sale of cultivated meat. This bill is now on the desk of Governor Ron DeSantis, who had this to say. We're not going to have fake meat. Like, that doesn't work. Very elegant. Well, I have bad news for you, Ron. It does work. And this is called cultivated meat, cultured meat, lab-grown meat, cell-grown meat, whatever you want to call it, it is coming. And it's not fake meat. It is literally meat. It's meat just made in a different way. It's like growing food in a field versus a greenhouse. Both can give us crops to eat, but the greenhouse can provide ideal conditions and safety that the outdoor environment cannot. Cultivated meat is similar. It's grown in a lab setting. It's Animal cells, take it from the cow, take it from the pig, grown in a lab setting since that can provide ideal conditions for these cells to multiply and grow until we have a cut of meat, real meat. And people in Singapore are already eating this. As you can probably tell, I have a bit of beef with this bill. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Here's everything that I think is wrong and outright lie or very hypocritical about Florida's bill to ban cultivated meat. What's got me all up in arms about this bill in Florida? A lot. But first off, I just want to point out that this was not done to protect the consumer or the everyday person. This bill was designed to protect a certain dominant industry in Florida, that's the traditional meat industry and cattle ranchers, and to limit any future innovation that would compete with them. Both the Florida's Cattlemen's Association and the Florida Farm Bureau Federation have come out in support of this bill, obviously which I find a bit ironic because I thought America was all about free markets, fair trade, and pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. Seems a little hypocritical to ban your competition before it even exists. I mean, just because you personally like your gas-fueled car doesn't mean you get to ban electric cars. But let's go to the bill because I want to show you what is in it and what's been specifically left out. Looking at section 500.452, we can see cultivated meat prohibition, which, you know, prohibition for the years in the past has gone so successfully. The bill goes on to say it's illegal to manufacture, sell, or distribute cultivated meat. And if you do this, it's punishable as a second degree misdemeanor. So it's not just a ban, it's going to be a criminal act if you have anything to do with making or selling cultivated meat. Which I'll get back to this whole crime thing in a moment because I want to talk about what's not in the bill. There is nothing about doing research into cultivated meat, which means doing the research is still legal. I find this very interesting because if cultivated meat was such a harmful, unsafe product, it's, it's going to be horrible for consumers, wouldn't you want to ban any research into it? Like cut it off at the source if this is really such a bad thing. But the legislators know this would be like shooting themselves in the foot because there's Florida universities and research centers that are already doing this research, have the money, have the finances, have the students, and that would stop all of this. For example, Moat Marine Laboratory is studying how to optimize cultivated seafood. And there's several cellular agriculture projects going on at the University of Florida that already has the grant money and professors, staffs, and students working on it and all this momentum going. Not to mention another important sector in Florida located in Cape Canaveral. This is NASA's Kennedy Space Center where the idea of cultivated meat has long been held as the possibility for nourishment and food during long-term space journeys or missions to Mars. One Florida lawmaker, Dean Black, even commented that it's fine to develop moon meat for astronauts, but cattlemen like himself will not advocate for it. So cultivated meat is good enough for you if you're willing to risk your life and go to space, but for all us earthlings, we should continue to eat traditional meat, which just in the U.S. means slaughtering 33 million cows and 9 billion chickens every year. Just let that number sink in. I'm someone who eats meat, but hearing that number of animals killed just to put food on our plates, it's a little disheartening how, how easily we're able to say, 
just like that? Yes, let's take that many animals' lives. I mean, that's a, a lot. And this is the exact issue that cultivated meat solves. We can get real meat, but we don't need to slaughter a bunch of animals to do so. And it's one thing to ban a food, but to also criminalize making it or selling it. Because remember that bill on Governor DeSantis's desk? It says that cultivated meat, if you make it, if you produce it, manufacture it, that is a second degree misdemeanor. And here are some other crimes that are second degree misdemeanors in Florida. Assault, prostitution, petty theft, and disorderly conduct. Oof. <laughs> This means if you are found to be selling or distributing cultivated meat, you can receive fines up to $500 and a jail sentence up to 60 days. You could literally go to jail. That's crazy. Well, I find that upsetting enough. What almost like irks me even more is this message that I think is being sent to consumers about these products. By simply having this bill and perhaps soon law, in many people's mind, this will call into question the quality and safety of these cultivated meat products. And I think maybe that was actually the point in the first place. Why not just kill this innovative and competitive product before Americans even have the chance to try it? Don't even let them have buy-in. And I do think this bill was done purposely to falsely call into question the safety of these cultivated meat products. In fact, one representative, Danny Alvarez, basically said as much in an interview. He claims the reason he's pushing for a ban is because there's unanswered safety questions about cultivated meat. Which, I would like to remind you, there are two agencies in the U.S. government, mainly the FDA and USDA, whose job it is to literally regulate our food supply's safety. I don't think that Representative Alvarez, whose degrees are in communications and law, is more capable than the hundreds of scientists and researchers at the USDA and FDA whose job it is to make these decisions and to look at the science and to look at the studies and come to a conclusion. And to their credit, that's exactly what these two agencies have been doing. Only recently have two U.S. companies, Upside Food and Good Meats, gained regulatory approval and have been approved to sell these products in the U.S. Both companies went through a very rigorous and scientific process to get this approval from the USDA and FDA. And there are around 40 or so other cultivated meat and seafood companies just in the U.S. hoping to join them. What I'm trying to say is that there are qualified professionals that are looking into the safety of cultivated meat. This is literally their job. And this is something that does not need to go through state legislature because we have a government agency to do this. But truly what probably worries me the most is what comes next. Because Florida was the first state to have their House and Senate pass a bill prohibiting cultivated meat. But this could be just the beginning. I was already reading that Tennessee, their state government is thinking about having a $1 million fine if you make cultivated meat and try to sell it. Alabama state senate just voted to make producing and distributing cultivated meat a class C felony, which is equivalent to stalking and robbery and punishable by up to 10 years in prison. You can't make this stuff up. And I find that pretty sad because the U.S. is one of the world leaders in this technology, or at least was maybe not for long because other nations like South Korea, their government is actually writing policies to help usher in cultivated meat. The Netherlands has pledged the largest amount of grant money for cultivated meat projects and that's 65 million euros. And China has even included cultivated meat in their five-year food security plan. And I'm sure some of these countries are absolutely thrilled with the news out of Florida. It's setting the U.S. back. It's dragging this technology backwards, which I find very interesting for a country and especially a state that claims to love innovation and competition. End rant.